Hi, my name is Tim Gibson. I'm the creator and lead artist of the 10,000 Flowers Project. I'm driving around here in Petunia the bus. I've had it for about three years. So uh, come on in, let me show you. So this is the inside of Petunia, welcome. Uh, this is the kitchen, it's all very bare-boned. So I got my little Coleman grill here, which is great because I don't have electric or gas, so it's very, very minimalistic. But this is great um, whenever I'm parked in Walmart parking lots. I basically just pop this outside, I have a little table out there. I'm able to make soups and ramen noodles and basically the simple stuff. But this is it, I got a little cabinet down here which has all the things I need, where it's tools, zip ties, tapes, basically like my junk drawer. Up here, we got all of our ramens, macaroni and cheese, big jar of honey that I haven't opened yet. It's been sitting there for three months. So I basically only keep dry foods in here. Um, don't have a fridge, so it's all gotta be stuff like pantry foods. So I do have a little pantry over here, which is nice. It's got all my soups, Nutella, paper towels, uh, a little bit of fruit, just cereal, basically anything that I can keep for long periods of time. So this is actually pretty great. This used to be just a big sheet of uh, metal across the entire thing with a little door here that would go back maybe a foot. But I just had a feeling that there was a lot more storage back there that could be used. So I ripped the entire thing down and realized it goes back right until the edge of the bus. So that was pretty nice. So I was able to kind of build out like a little storage cubby space in there uh, which opened it up to a lot of stuff right now it is more or less just kind of like the throw spot so like anything where i'm not 100 sure where it can go kind of gets put here for now this space is more or less just kind of storage it's where i keep all the pots and pans spare water if i need it my little tiny cooler and my fire extinguisher because you never know and then down here is Basically just more storage. So it's all pretty simple. Um, all the wood I used is pretty soft wood, so I'm able to just on the fly screw little hooks in by hand and hang things that I need. Um, got my mask holder here. And basically a string lights that I bought on the road. They're nice whenever I'm in a place where I can actually plug in and have some lights. So they're really nice. And these are pretty great. So these, my mom sewed all these for me before I left, but they're nice because they can kind of keep you secluded and then it's really easy just to open them back up. So this is the dining area. It's, uh, it's got everything I need basically. It's got two little seats for if I ever have a guest in here. Um, storage underneath, which I'm kind of using for random stuff throughout the entire trip. Right now it's got my towels in there and some extra long extension cords for when I get to plug in. Uh, this area I use is more or less doubles as like kitchen table, desk for like if I'm ever doing like computer work. So it's really nice. I usually keep a table up like all the time. I thought I'd be popping it down a lot more, but it's a pretty roomy space with it up. So I usually end up just keeping it up the entire time. I'm a traveling mural artist. So I basically will travel from town to town painting community flower workshops, big kind of funky flower murals. And the quick in a nutshell version of this is that we're painting one giant mural that's gonna be over three miles long that is just broken up into sections across America. So each mural is basically a puzzle piece. Each flower at the end of the mural connects to the next. So by the end of it, it'll be one massive mural just broken up into sections. And it's a community mural project, so it's, I basically will set it up like a giant paint by numbers and then invite people from the community to come in and fill the flowers in themselves. Once that's done, I come back and I touch things up and outline them. So it's really not an artist coming in and painting a mural, it's a mural actually created by the community. So it's really fun in that way, I've loved seeing people kind of take ownership of the mural and the project itself. So yeah, if you'd like to see what I'm doing, please check me out. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, all 10,000 Flowers Projects. And you can also check out my website to see all of the 45 plus murals we've done so far. Let's 
so this is nice. This is a, uh, this used to be where the electric wheelchair ramp was when this used to be a shuttle bus for a retirement home. But now it doubles as storage for all of my merch, which I have all my t-shirts and bags right now. And this is like my outdoor table. So whenever I cook on the Coleman grill, I bring out here, set everything up. Um, it's great, it's simple, but it's sturdy enough. I'd maybe like to get like a second leg in here at some point, so it's a little more secure. But it's really nice on hot days like today, I'm able to open these doors, my bed's right there, so I can let breeze come all the way through. But yeah, this is uh, all the area for storage and uh, yeah, my kitchen table. This was actually a last minute addition. I was about three days away from leaving. And the more I was thinking about it, the more I was like, I feel like I'm gonna need a space where I can sit outside or stand outside, enjoy the weather. So this was literally like an 11th hour build that happened literally days before I left. So, but I'm happy with it. I'm glad I did it. And this guy back here, it's the most compact space. I got the most things crammed in here. So I got a little sign for when I'm talking about or for when we're doing murals, I put that out there so people know they come out and paint. This is where all my paints are stored. We got paints all the way to the back. We got all of our brushes up here. We got some cups. So basically when I do a mural project, anybody's welcome to paint. So I will literally pour a little paint into one of these cups, hand them a brush and just say, go have fun. Go paint anywhere on the mural that has the same color. So it's nice to be able to have everything I need like accessible from the back. So a lot of times I'm able to park the bus right next to the mural. So it's great to be able to just like keep these doors open and kind of swing back and forth whenever I need stuff. So for efficiency and speed, when we're painting with like a few hundred people at once, pouring paint is sometimes the slowest process. So I punctured two holes in there and keep the lid completely sealed. So when we're painting, we literally will just be pouring little globs of paint in each cup. So for that reason, I had to come up with a way where when I'm driving these long roads, bumpy roads, I'm not gonna risk having paint spilled everywhere. Um, in the old build, that was a real problem. I lost maybe three or four gallons along the road, just pulling into a gas station a couple times and realizing there's, you know, half a gallon of paint spilled out on the floor. So I wanted to avoid that for this new one. And the system works really well. Um, that's great, because basically the bottom half is all the paints. I've got actually a screen right here for screen printing. So I screen print all the t-shirts that I sell as well. Basically just on the road, you know, rent a cheap motel for a day and take over the entire floor of t-shirts. And we got tables here, which slide in perfectly. We got one for paints, which is where we have all the like paint cans and brushes. And then a smaller one for merchandise. Got our ruler, because you always need like a straight edge for something. But that's pretty much it. Growing up the first seven years of my life, I actually grew up in a motorhome. So my dad was an author and we would travel around the country on book tours for eight months out of the year. So basically growing up inside a motorhome and seeing the country um, is kind of just always in my blood. It's been nice living this way for about three years. Um, the goal of the project is to paint 10,000 flowers. So I'm at 1,300 right now. So the plan was paint 10,000 by my 30th birthday, which now is in four years. So I see myself doing this at least for another 10 years, um, which is gonna be nice because between every tour, I'm back at home building this thing out, changing things, tweaking things. Uh, the goal is to get electric next time I'm back home. So it's gonna be nice just like slowly let this thing evolve while I'm touring around. Yeah, the biggest challenge I think would be just finding places to park sometimes. Um, before Walmart, when they were open 24 hours, was a great kind of safe haven. Uh, I think now since a lot of them are closing at 11, it's been tough finding places that won't kick you out. So I've gotten a lot of knocks on my door at like 2 a.m., which is never something you want. But that would be the toughest part, and because it's painted with flowers, it's not very uh, low-key. So I think it's pretty easy for people to see if you've been parked there for a couple of days. Um, other than that, it really hasn't been much of a challenge. Um, most of the time I'm going to a place where I've got a job lined up, so they've already arranged for places for me to sleep. It's just the in-between stages of finding a place to park. So I got this pipe here, which used to be 
basically like a giant metal box that ran across the entire bus and felt like a lot of wasted space so I pried that whole thing out and realized there was about 40 feet of wire throughout the entire thing so I was trying to figure out a way to make that a little bit cleaner so basically just bought a PVC pipe and cut a strip in the back and ran all these wires through it so it goes all the way to the back and then there's probably about 30 feet of wires that are all zip tied together behind those doors but this is nice I picked this up this little hanging thing just off the side of the road when I was touring and screwed it in myself it's it's nice it gives me everything I need for uh, hanging up coats backpacks bags this is all the storage I have for my clothes um, little plastic containers it's nice it keeps things simple it keeps me from buying like, a bunch of t-shirts that I don't need from different states so I've got this area which is all the t-shirts I can keep and I'm sticking to that but it goes pretty far back so all these panels here I bought off Facebook for I think like five dollars a board which back a year ago was like practically free and pretty much built the entire thing out this used to be completely empty so I built out a big frame bed big framework area and yeah they go all the way from the one side of the wall to the other and it's nice. I kind of kept this curve here because I think it looks kind of cool. It doesn't just have a bunch of right angles. But it's nice. It's uh, held up. I was a little worried about these not surviving from me constantly getting on and off the bed. But so far it's been holding up really, really well. So this is my bed. Um, it's, a, it's a huge upgrade from what I had last time. Um, I spent a good chunk of 2020 completely restoring this bus um, the first build I have my bed was basically just a little bench with a cushion kind of over where the kitchen is now but so I'm really happy that I'm actually able to lay all the way down in this bed because before I wasn't able to do that I have like storage up here where I can stick things I have little prints here that when I'm doing murals I sell so whenever I get into a town I usually go to a Michaels and pick up you know two dozen canvases and in the spare time I have before the mural I'll paint a bunch of little flowers that I sell during the events. Um, so it's good, it's good storage up here. I want to eventually build something nicer where they're a bit more protected so when I'm driving long distances they don't rattle around as much because they get slightly scratched and I want to I try to avoid that. But this is the one thing I also want to fix. I thought this little hook was very cool when I bought it, but driving on any kind of bumpy road that's like slightly rough it jiggles open and then swings open the entire time I'm driving, which is kind of annoying. So that is something I'd like to fix soon. This area back here, I would like to change up a little bit in my next, uh, next version. I'd like to get this a little bit nicer looking. Um, I'm also would really like to stain a lot of this. So it looks a little bit closer to this, but, uh, yeah, I was still working on this build right before I left on tour. So I was, the stain was literally drying as I was driving away from uh, Pennsylvania, so it's it's always a work in progress. It's always like evolving into the next thing. But uh, for this trip, I'm really happy with it. So a good chunk of this project is actually funded through donations. So I do have a GoFundMe and I'll have a shop on my website really soon. Um, so you can pick up t-shirts, stickers, buttons, things like that. But if you check out my website, one of the first links is a GoFundMe. And uh, yeah, that's basically how this thing is kept afloat is through uh, support and donations through kind strangers. Well, thank you guys so much for taking a look around Petunia. Um, I had a blast doing this. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll, uh, I'll see you down the road.